One of the most versatile ways to make a carbon-carbon bond is to employ an organometallic Grignard reagent. This starts with an organic halide being treated with magnesium metal, which react together to give the Grignard species. An aldehyde or a ketone is then added, with the Grignard nucleophile attacking the carbonyl carbon. The resultant alkoxide is then quenched, and an alcohol product is the result. The overall pathway for this conversion involves the nucleophilic Grignard reagent attacking the carbonyl group of the ester. This forms a tetrahedral intermediate, which then collapses, with loss of the alkoxide leaving group, to give a ketone. The electrophilic ketone is then attacked by a second equivalent of the Grignard reagent to give a tertiary alkoxide. Quenching the two alkoxide species with acid then results in the two alcohol products. In the first step, the nucleophilic Grignard nucleophile adds to the electrophilic carbon of the ester group to give a tetrahedral intermediate. In this species, the negative charge has been transferred from the Grignard carbon to a more electronegative oxygen atom. This step will be irreversible, as the newly attached carbon group is an exceptionally poor leaving group. The tetrahedral intermediate then collapses, with reformation of the carbonyl and loss of the alkoxide leaving group. The resultant ketone will then be susceptible to attack in a subsequent step. The produced ketone is actually more electrophilic than the original ester, so the ketone is attacked rapidly by the second equivalent of the Grignard reagent. This forms a second carbon-carbon bond and results in a tertiary alkoxide. Once the carbonyl groups have been consumed, there are now two types of alkoxide in solution, which are then quenched with acid to give the isolated alcohol products. To summarize, when an ester is treated with an excess of a Grignard reagent, the ester reacts, firstly, to give a ketone and an alkoxide. The ketone then reacts with a second equivalent of the Grignard nucleophile to give a tertiary alkoxide. Both alkoxides are then quenched by acid to give the isolated alcohol products.